Hey guys, it's Jenna, and today we're going to be discussing and reviewing The Secret of the Spell Shadow by Bella Forrest. Oh god. Those of you who followed my Instagram stories a few days ago, you guys know I absolutely despised this book. So before I continue my rant and hatred about this book, let me tell you what this book is all about. So this book is about a 17 year old boy named Alex who is a web designer and a caretaker for his ill mother. Introduced to another character named Natalie who is an foreign exchange student who comes to live with Alex and his mother. As Alex and Natalie are hanging out together one night, um, Alex gets separated from Natalie and as he finds her, he sees a figure following Natalie that no one else can't see. So. Alex is convinced that he's just hallucinating things, he's just seeing things, he hasn't got enough sleep, so on and so forth. The next day, while Alex and Nellie are at school, he sees the gray, shadowy figure once again following Natalie. And so Nellie starts to feel a little bit sick, a little bit tired, so she dismisses herself to the nurse's office and says she's going to go back to the house. Being Alex, the concerned person that he is, he goes to the nurse's office to check on her to make sure she's okay and heads home safely. But she says she's gonna go home, back to the house, and rest. But in reality, she's not. As he thought Natalie was working with this gray, shabby creature looking for other students, like hunting down Alex, or looking for other magical students to send to a magical school called the Spell of Shadow Manor. Alex is following Natalie to make sure she heads home. In reality, she's not headed in the right direction. She's headed to the Spell of Shadow Manor with the shadowy figure close behind her. And apparently she was put under a spell or enchanted to go to the manor. The writing style of this novel is way too simplistic and dumbed down way too much. The book was promoted is that adults and kids of fans of Harry Potter will love this book and it's considering the author is considering this book to be a rival or a t potential rival to Harry Potter which it's not. There is literally no type of development in this book at all no plot development, no character development, no world building. Everything in this book was too protectable or too convenient to put in. Like there was piles and piles and piles of tropes all over the book. And there's no magic system, ain't that some shit. So basically all they're doing is sitting around in class learning how to harness their magical energy reading about the manor and learning a little bit about the manor in a way too convenient way. Honestly guys, if I did not have the e-reader of this novel, I would have thrown the book across the room. That's how pissed off I was. I was expecting for this book to have some potential, but I feel like it does not have potential since the author did not put any effort into this book. And I believe she has five other books in the series which I will not be reading. This book was of course a waste of time. I'm like why don't you DNF it? I have a habit of not DNFing books anymore if I despise it. So that is the end of my book review. If I did not convince you not to read this book, please please don't read it. Please don't buy it. It is not worth your time. It's just not a good novel in my opinion, for for fans of Harry Potter, kid or adult, it's just not worth it. I think that's going to be it for this video. I don't think I'm going to do a spoiler filled section of this video because you already understand my hatred for this book, so I really don't want to talk about it any more than I have to. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Friday, so subscribe if you want to find out for when I post new videos. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.